Hi there, Robert Williams here. I'm the founder and publisher of Wall Street Daily. I have with me today special guest and best-selling author Peter Schiff. Peter's renowned for being the most accurate forecaster of the 2008 financial crisis. His latest book, The Real Crash, warns that 2008 was merely a tremor before the true earthquake, something we're calling American Armageddon 2016. Thanks for joining me, Peter. Thanks for having me. Peter, China's on pace for the first year ever to actually be contracting its position in U.S. Treasuries. Is that something America should be worried about? They should absolutely be worried about it. But, I mean, right now people are whistling past, you know, the mother of all graveyards here. I mean, th this is our biggest lender. And if they're pulling back on what they're lending at a time where, you know, our deficits are about to explode again, we've done nothing in the way of a budget reform. Our entitlements are, you know, are on a runaway track. You know, we've suspended the debt ceiling. And I think in this next economic downturn, our annual deficits are going to once again eclipse a, tr eclipse a trillion dollars. And if China's not there, right, to, to loan us the money, where, where's the funding going to come from? And again, it's not just going to be China. This is going to be a wave that's going to gather momentum and go around the world. It's going to be all of America's creditors that are going to stop lending us money because we've already borrowed more than we can possibly repay. The, the dollar in U.S. Treasuries is probably the most over-owned asset in the world. And so if our, the lenders are going to stop lending, then that just leaves the Fed because either we default, which would be honest but politically almost impossible, uh, the easy route, the expedient route, is to have the Fed monetize the debt. We've already had the precedent for that. We've done three rounds of quantitative easing. The Fed has a balance sheet of $4.5 trillion, so why not go to $10 trillion? Why not go to $20 trillion, Right? They're just going to buy as many treasuries as they have to in order to keep the government spending apparatus going. But, of course, when they do that, they destroy the value of the dollar. When foreign governments or foreign individuals buy our bonds, then the dollar can stay strong. But if we have to print dollars to buy those bonds, then the supply of dollars worldwide is exploding and people can see what we're doing. They can see that we're just monetizing our debt. And every country that has collapsed uh, has collapsed for the same reason. You can look at the examples in, in South America of what happened to countries that monetize their debt. Or, you know, uh, th there's plenty of examples throughout history of industrial nations. And we're not even, we're post-industrial now because we're, we're the service economy. Uh, and so if, if more industrialized nations could destroy their currency, certainly we can do it. So China's recent behavior isn't just an anomaly, Peter. This is a trend you see continuing. Oh, absolutely. And I think it's a very important trend that people are overlooking. And I think the Chinese are recognizing uh, that they have too many dollars. And I think they, they recognize that it was a mistake to peg their currency to the dollar. And they're trying to walk that mistake back. They're trying to untether uh, their currency from the dollar. Now, in the short run, uh, the Chinese yuan has actually gone down in value as a result of some of these moves. But what they're doing is laying the foundation for a dramatic appreciation, a revaluation of the yuan against the dollar. And not just the Chinese yuan, but the currencies of all, of all sorts of emerging market nations, I think, are going to see dramatic increases against the U.S. dollar. I mean, that would have happened a few years ago but these countries made the mistake of preventing it by undermining their own currencies. Well, I think they recognize that that was a mistake and they're not going to repeat it. Thanks, Peter. To prepare for the coming economic Armageddon, I'm giving away a limited number of free copies of Peter Schiff's fully updated book, The Real Crash. To claim your free copy, just click the link below. For Wall Street Daily, I'm Robert Williams.